What up guys, today I got a brand new set of rims and tires, I'm going to pop on the bike, let's get it. So before I start taking these older ones off, I'm going to show you why I'm, why I'm changing them. It's because while I was up north, one of my spokes went loose, it's got, now it's got a big wobble. I don't know if you can see that, but it was pretty bad. I kind of fixed it by tightening up all the spokes, but it still has a little bit, little one. And the front one does too, but these didn't come loose. These are the same rims and, tie, or rims and spokes from the 2006, so I'm going to change them up with some new Warp 9 wheels, Dunlop tires, and a new Renthal sprocket. And it's going to look dope. I cannot wait to see what this bike looks like after just from changing the rims. It's going to look so sweet. All right, let's get started. The rims actually came with a brand new brake rotor and sprocket, but I already got a rental sprocket, and I'm also going to add a new chain to it. Then now it's time for the front tire. What are you doing there, Alex? I'm just thinking. Hey, you're. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking. You thought his tires were Forellis. Hey, they're Forellis. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, demons. Sitting here for a solid half hour, he still can't get my back tire off. Would you? <laughs> How do you feel about this, Alex? Well, I'm glad mine's off, but yeah, I don't know why yours sucks so much, but we're gonna get. Because we're determined. What? Determined and we're strong, and that's what matters. A quote by Alex White. <laughs> Alright, so it actually has been a couple days since I last filmed because I decided to go take my rims and wheels to get mounted at a more professional shop. And I didn't want to risk doing it myself because I'm like, I'm a super amateur when it comes to putting on tires so and I didn't want to scratch the black rims so that's what I decided to do and here's what they look like now As you saw, those are Warp 9 wheels with black rims, uh, red hubs, and just the standard silver spokes. And courtesy of Motorsport.com, I got the, the wheels, the tires, the tubes, the sprockets, and chains, all for a really good price. I cannot thank Motorsport anymore. All right, now I'm going to take the, the sprocket that, that are on the wheels now off, because I got my own, and I'm going to pop that on along with the new chain and just put it all together and see how it looks at the end.
bag. Basically got everything on the bike, the sprockets, the wheels, and my camera's almost dead, so I gotta wait t tomorrow to show you guys what it looks like, and we'll give it a test ride, so stay tuned for that. Alright, it's now the next day, and I can show you guys what the bike looks like after everything is put together. Alright, that's the bike after putting it on the wheels. Uh, it looks really good. I like how it all turned out. The red makes it look pop a little bit more and the black rims are just perfect. Um, so with the sprockets, I decided to go with the 13 in the front and a 52 in the back and that gives you more, more torque. Uh, how to do a torque ratio, you take the biggest sprocket divided by your smallest sprocket. So it's 52 divided by 13, that's an even 4.0 ratio. And of course, the higher the higher the number, the more torque. The lower the number, the more top end you'll have. And I wanted more torque because coming out of corners would feel a lot more nicer. And I don't really need more top end yet. I'm not sure. I don't know. Who knows? But I'm I'm really satisfied with 13 and 52. I got to test drive it yesterday, and it feels nice. Uh, I'm gonna have a riding video up soon. My GoPro was in charge, so that's gonna come next. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment any suggestions, and subscribe to see more videos. I'll see you guys later. Right on.